everyone. Good day to all of you. Welcome to International Institute of Computer Science and Administration or ICSA. Today we're going to have course orientation about none other than Office Management International. Welcome to all of you. And to begin, let me just introduce myself to you. I am Jessica Monar Basintos, your instructor in Office Management. And here's my educational background. I have degree in Bachelor of Science in Entrepreneurial Management. I have also shifted my course into Bachelor of Science in Business Administration major in Marketing Management. I also took Master in Business Administration. I am also certified Lean Six Sigma White Belt and Yellow Belt. I also took Professional Teaching Certification. And now I am taking Doctor of Philosophy in Business Management. And here are my work involvement. I have been junior executive assistant in a government agency in the Philippines. I also have an experience of being business process associate in multinational company. And I've been also university professor. And I am now connected with ICSA as a management instructor. Let me just give you the vision and mission statement of ICSA. For the vision statement, it says here, ICSA is to be internationally recognized as a premier information technology learning institution engaged in the discovery of knowledge that the integration of learning experiences and knowledge application with a global perspective that educates through innovative and responsive programs in view of creating opportunities. So let me start with this vision. It's a good, very good vision that is meaning to say that ICSA is aiming to reach learners across the globe to help in creating different opportunities such as if you wanted to be promoted, if you want to have a self-advances or advancement and success in career. And what about mission statement of ICSA? It says here, the core mission of the institution is to promote information technology education to provide the students the knowledge and skills needed to succeed as persons and professionals. Number one, provide career programs with a primary focus on those programs that are innovative and responsive to the needs of the students and employers or the most essential competencies that you'll be needing of a in a, a specific position. Number two, advance the highest quality of learning, teaching, and professional practice in a technologically enabled environment. In our situation right now, we have to be or we have to have the so-called technology savvy. We have to take the opportunity of using technology nowadays. Then that is one of the objectives of ICSA. Number three, Contribute to the advancement of technology in the global context, not just for your own, not just for yourself, but also ICSA is aiming to contribute technological advancement globally. Here are the ICSA affiliates or ICSA partners, RA Gapus, TESDA, CAP College, Pearson Authorized Test Center, British Council, Autodesk, Microsoft, the Management Awarding Organization, and the Qualify. For the course description of Office Management, this course will provide the student or you with all of the knowledge required regarding the high quality secretarial performance in organization. So the question is, what are the required skills if you are eyeing for a specific position such as secretarial position? Also, this course will include secretarial procedures, developing an effective personality and positive job attitude, becoming part of an office team, reception work, incoming mail and outgoing mail, telephonic techniques, filing system, and record management. So when we say secretarial procedures, it includes tips and techniques on how to become an effective secretary. So developing an effective personality and positive job attitude, this entails character, personality development. But before you develop your personality, 
you should be able to identify your own personality. So in my class, we use different tools and we use assessment to identify our personality, to identify our character, skills and attitude, and of course, the preferences. So this would not only help you to identify your personality, but also will help you to identify what would be the suitable business proposal for you based on your preferences. Next, this would also include knowledge in business correspondence, meaning to say you're going to write a letter, business proposal, minutes of the meeting, and we're also going to talk about time management skills, customer service, dealing with complaints, work relationships, leadership roles, team membership, problem-solving skills, and the use of the technology. So in business correspondence, this includes writing a business letter and writing a business proposal. In time management, we're going to discuss tips on proper allocation of time, prioritizing tasks, and do away with procrastinations and distraction that could really waste your time and effort. So in dealing customer complaints, we're going to tackle here different types of customers, different types of difficult customers, and the proper way on handling the complaints of the customers. In work relationship, it in this part, you will know how to build good relationship or harmonious relationship with your coworkers. For our course content or the topics that we're going to discuss throughout the journey of here in office management, first topic we have here office management and secretarial skills. In office management and secretarial skills, we're going to have an introduction about office management and secretarial skills, the definition of the functions of the management, management skills or managerial skills, secretarial skills. Also, we're going to be, we're going to discuss office manners and etiquette and personality development. Next topic, we have office professional in organization. We're going to discuss here organizational culture, level of organizational culture, types of culture. We're going to discuss also the organizational chart, the roles of the secretary in organization, and telephonic techniques and techniques and etiquette. For the third topic, we have here customer services. In customer services, there are different kinds of customers the aspects of being an effective or having an effective customer service, elements of customer service, steps of having quality customer service, dealing with difficult customers and types of difficult customers and the proper approaches on those difficult customers. Fourth topic, we have time management. In time management, we're going to discuss, of course, introduction about time management, the meaning of this time management, and the importance or benefits of time management, obstacles of having effective time management, how to overcome obstacles, ways to manage your time, ways to plan your time, prioritizing your time, and then we're going to differentiate the importance versus urgency in planning, and time stealers, time wasters, and time management plan or time management tools. For the fifth topic, we have business correspondence. In business correspondence, we're going to discuss the meaning of correspondence, types of correspondence, the business letters, and the formats and layouts of business letters, key aspects in letter writing, the good opening and closing lines in business letters, and tips for choosing the word choice in business letter, and tips in preparing correspondence, okay, business letter transitions, classification of transitions. We're going to tackle also subject-verb agreement and Gmail application and writing a business proposal. Topic number six, we have meeting arrangement. In meeting arrangement, we're going to define the meaning of meeting, types of meeting, the resources needed in arranging meeting, steps in meeting arrangement, 
And we're going to tackle notice, agenda, and minutes of the meeting and the roles of secretary in a meeting. For the seventh topic that we have, travel arrangement. In travel arrangement, we're going to introduce travel arrangements and then roles and responsibilities of secretary in preparing travel arrangements. Factors to consider in travel arrangements, resources to prepare in travel arrangement, and also checklists okay, in travel arrangement and online bookings and tools that you can use with that could help you in preparing travel arrangement. Eight topic we have here communication. In communication, we're going to define and describe the communication, the importance of having positive communication skills, the communication process, communication barriers, ways to overcome the communication barriers, and internal and external communication. We're going also to tackle communication with immediate supervisor, accepting feedback, explaining problem with your supervisor, and listening abilities. Next topic we have number nine. Topic number nine is records management and filing system. In records management, we're going to discuss the effective record management techniques, mastering filing system, filing organization tips for fast office filing, and management basics for electronic filing. Number 10, we have Microsoft Outlook. So in Microsoft Outlook, we're going to discuss configuring Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Outlook versus Outlook Express, setting up an email account, sending an email, receiving an email, sending an email with an attachment, okay, managing mails, contacts, schedule, task, and calendar in your Microsoft Outlook. But also, we have also calendar in Google Mail. Okay, and lastly, Utilizing the different features of options and options in Microsoft Outlook. Number 11 topic, we have job interview workshop. This is important okay, because we're going to discuss how to prepare an effective curriculum vitae or effective resume. And then we're going to differentiate the curriculum vitae and resume and preparations before the interview. Things to bring during the interview, things to do during the interview, and strategies in answering tough questions during the interview, and things to do after the interview. Last topic that we have, topic number 12, is the introduction to financial management. In this topic, we're going to define financial management, give the importance of understanding the finance, we're going to differentiate finance versus accounting and also we're going to discuss inventory system, depreciation, financial statements such as balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow. For the course requirement, we have first requirement, basic requirement here is you must be professional in Windows such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. And another basic requirement here is a burning desire to improve your career. Can you please pop your shoulders and say, I have the burning desire in my career. Can I hear? I have the burning desire in my career. So yes, that's right. Because you must know how the difference between the eagerness to learn versus you must learn or you just really listen or eagerness to pass. Okay, There is the difference between eagerness to learn or eagerness to pass. Because if you have this eagerness to learn, you are hungry to learn. You, you, you wanted to unlock your skills. But if you have this burning desire, you once you started to do the task or responsibility, you should commit your 100% dedication to it. So I want you to I wanted you to have this quote by Brandon Siaso. He said that the pursuit of knowledge is never ending. The day you stop seeking knowledge is the day you stop growing or earning even earning. So for now, 
I am congratulating you for having the burning desire because you are now here listening to this cor course orientation because you wanted to improve your career. So congratulations to all of you. Now, let's give the what are the course requirements. For office management, you are required to log your attendance to have or to participate in the discussion through recitation or we have presentation such as business proposal presentation. We also have exciting individual and group exercises and we have final examination. For the grading system, we have here major examination equivalent into 40%. We have quizzes equivalent into 20%. We have recitation, also 20%, and assignment, also 20%, for a total of 100%. Now, let's talk about the career options or career opportunities for you to explore once you've graduated in office management. Once you receive your certification, these are your career opportunities. First one here is receptionist. All right, so a receptionist is responsible for managing front of the office. The responsibility of the receptionist includes greeting the clients, taking phone calls, and handling emails and appointments. So the receptionist is the face of the company and the need to have excellent written and verbal communication skills and a friendly manner and a professional demeanor. So working as a receptionist allows you to interact with different people and it is an occupation that is found in variety of fields. Another options for you, career options is of course, administrative assistant. Administrative assistants are responsible for running and coordinating day-to-day -day administrative duties of an organization. The essential role of Administrative assistant is to provide support to the management and the office team through answering incoming communications, distributing mail, correspondence, general admin duties such as filing, printing, photocopying, and data entry and various of the duties that may assign by your, by your boss or supervisor. Another here is we have also in office management, you have personal assistant and executive assistant career options or career opportunities. So this role is more focused around providing support to a high ranking or executive rather than an organization's organizational work of in an office. Okay, it involves scheduling meetings, managing phone calls and appointments, responding to emails, organizing documents, generating reports, and, and ensuring the supplies are stocked at all times. So these PA and EA's role exist across almost every industry and many organizations. So it could be also in the government or in a private sector, even in a doctor's clinic. So, a personal assistant is always in demand. Okay, so this role demands clear and effective communication skills apart from being highly organized. And lastly, believe it or not, believe it or not, you can be office manager. Yes, you heard it right. You can be office manager. This office manager is responsible for a diverse set of administrative tasks. These tasks are organizational and include office duties that ensure the smooth running of the business. These office duties may vary depending on the size of the company. They include being in charge of office equipment, supplies, taking care of mails and bankings, and managing invoicing and payroll. Other responsibilities include internal and external communication with staff and clients as well as tasks that supports HR. Okay, next stop is let us have a quick tour in our portal. And now we are here in website of ICSA. This is what we call 
portal, you can easily type icsakuwait.com and you are going to log in your user ID and your password. Upon logging in with your user ID and password, you're going to see your profile. And then in your dashboard, you're going to click Office Management International by Miss Jessica. And after logging in into your account, you're going to see different tiles with different topics. First tile here, you're going to see Attendance Matters. You're going to log your attendance whenever you log in in Portal. And also, you're going to see record sessions. Every session that we have in our class is recorded and it's going to be uploaded here in Portal for Review Purposes. And first topic here, you're going to see Office Management and Secretarial Skills. And upon clicking this Office Management and Secretarial Skills, each and every tiles of this portal under Office Management, you're going to see Lecture notes, PowerPoint presentation, the audio video presentation recorded, recorded audio video presentation. There's also posted quiz and there's also posted assignment. So there's also topic number two, the office professional in organization. There is lecture notes, the AVP, and the quiz. For customer service, there's also lecture note, PowerPoints, ABP. ABP, quiz number 3, and assignment number 2. The same with time management, our fourth topic. Okay, fifth topic, correspondence, business correspondence with quiz number 5, assignment number 4, and also submission bin for business proposal writing. In meeting arrangement, there's also quiz number 6 and AVP, PowerPoint presentation, and lecture notes. In travel arrangement, we have assignment number five. This is preparing a business trip application and so on. There are so many exciting activities. We are so many, we have so many exciting topics to discuss, group activities, individual activities, and presentation, and even job interview discussion, job interview workshop tips that you can use in practice or you can use when you're going to Apply for a job in the future, you're going to also, we're going also to tackle all of that. That could be used and could also increase your competency, develop yourself, and also increase your career, your knowledge, okay? To be prepared or to be prepared of being a secretary or in an office setup in the future. And that's the end of our course orientation for today. Thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for your time and tuning in here in ICSA, specifically course orientation of Office Management International. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day ahead and see you on our first topic. Thank you. Bye.